Hi, this is how to create two copies of the same print to different printer trays on your printer. So normally you would print uh, one file to your printer, it would print out whatever the tray is set to. In this case, you'll print to a, a dummy printer driver, which is for your printer. And that will then send it to the printer on tray one and tray two, for example. So you have two copies. You can set it up for any type of settings. So to do this, I first installed three versions of the printer driver for the printer. You can do this in Control Panel, Add Printer. And once that is set up, I'm now going to set up the dummy printer. This is not actually something that's actually going to print. This is just where you're going to send the print to. So if you right mouse on the dummy printer, you can redirect all prints to. And then you pick the two printers that you've installed, one for tray one, one for tray two, for example. So once that is set up, that's ready to go now. But I can show you how I set up the uh, tray one and tray two. If you just double click on the printer, go to printer properties, and then go on to advanced. You can see the print defaults here. You can set it up for tray one, for example, and you can then do the same for the other one for tray two. So go to printer properties, Remember to go to advanced, printing defaults, and that's set up for tray two. So now that's set up all ready to go. So I'm going to print to this printer here, this dummy printer, which is pause, it's never actually print anything. So to do this, I'm just going to drag and drop a text file in there. This is a test. So you can see it show up there. So now we send that print to tray one and tray two. Now the reason why it's paused is because of the setup here. What you might want to set auto wait for a redirect print to print before redirecting to the next printer. Basically what it does, it sends the first print to the first setup. Then once that's printed, it then sends it again to the second setup. So they don't overlap. So I can simulate that now as printed by double clicking on that print. So you can see in there, it should be set to uh, tray one, which is there. So I'm going to delete that print job. And now you can see that it's set it to tray two. So you can see the setup there, it's set it as tray two. So I'm going to simulate that printer by just cancelling the print job. So what will happen now, it will then remove that original print from the dummy printer because it's finished. And you can do that with any number of prints. Also, if you want to risk doing the overlap because it's sending both to both drives at the same time, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So you can just drag and drop. So you can see now straight away that it's set to both printers ready. So that's a tray one version and that's a tray two version then. So those two are waiting to print on the same printer. And that's it, give it a try.